a solution hardens with the exact shape of the layout. The wafer is now submerged into cleaning solution to remove the mask that is not solid. And just like that we created the mask over the wafer. Then it comes the etching process using a chemical etching or plasma process. So the next step is to add other chemicals or a plasma chamber to remove the oxide that is not exposed. Like that we create the channels in the bulk oxide on top of the silicone. Then we have a deposition process that is made inside of a reaction chamber. The wafer is introduced inside of this reactor and a small layer of dope silicon, polysilicon, metals and so on is applied. Let's say that we apply a n-type doping. After that the mask is removed and we are left with this. We have seen on some previous videos of mine that 